What is up guys, it's your boy Rick Kakis and today we have a brand new Xur location and inventory review for the weekend of March 17th to the 20th and so let's get started. Now, first things first, Xur is going to be located in the Winding Cove on the EDZ. All right, now let's take a look at what he has. Firstly, in terms of exotics, we do have the Lord of Wolves here, nerf to Oblivion. We have the Lucky Raspberry with honestly a pretty good roll, 68, like huge discipline spike. De like that's pretty good. Unfortunately, Arc Bolt Grenade, uh, these grenades aren't that good. It's not that meta, but what a fantastic roll. Uh, Crest of Alpha Loopy, uh, not the most amazing roll. A lot of intellect here, but certainly not bad. Again, not very meta. And lastly, we do have the Geomeg Stabilizers. 67 is a lot, but wow, that's way too much mobility. Um, like consider picking this up if you're a hunter just in case they uh, buff this thing because th that is a phenomenal roll. Alright, now moving on to the weapons. We have a Fire Fright here with Fragile Focus Surrounded. I don't think so. We do have a Death Adder here with Feeding Frenzy and Quick Draw. A Hammer Forge Rifling for the extra range. Not a bad little SMG here, but nothing amazing. Well, we do have an Aikilos with Killing Wind and Tap the Trigger and Hammer Forge for the range. Like this is not a terrible little PVP roll uh, right here. Uh, unfortunately, you don't have anything like Seraph rounds in this first slot, but yeah, really not bad. Then we have a uh, Judgment here with a movable object and close to melee. Mm, that's, you know, that's fine. This is good. I'm not really the biggest fan of this. All right. We have a Deafening Whisper with Killing Wind Threat Detector. Very unfortunate. This is a fantastic wave frame grenade launcher. Unfortunately, these uh, perks are just not it. Then we've got a Blast Batu with Threat Detector Wellspring. No. A Thresh Whirlwind Crown Splitter. No. Let's check the weapons on the back. We have a... Oh. A Range Finder Hawkmoon with Arrowhead Break. Ah, like Rangefinder, very good. One of the best perks you're looking for on the Hawkmoon. Some people would say the best, the God Roll perk. But unfortunately, you want a little bit more uh, range increasing stuff. Like something like Hammer Forge here would be very, very good. Um, and so overall, like, it is a pretty good roll. But I've also seen better. We do have uh, Outlaw on the DMT. Flared Mayweather Corkscrew. Eh, mid at best. Let's check the armor here. 52. Uh, 53 with a huge discipline spike, uh, 58, got some spikes there for sure, but still low, 51, wow, incredibly terrible armor, let's check the Warlock. Alright, for the Warlock, let's check these gauntlets, 52, way too low, 53, way too, this is trash armor, 51, way too low, 52, guys, I'm not even kidding, Zer might be glitched. Like, he's supposed to bring, like, above 55 armor. This is, like, like significantly lower. This is... Cr okay, we gotta check the hunter here. Alright, let's check the hunter and hope for the best. Let's see... 56. That's more like it. Still too low, but still. 53... Okay, there's no way. 53... 54... 53... Guys. Th yeah, this is glitched. Um, again, I've done Zer enough times to know that this armor is supposed to be 55 or above. This has actually happened before. The armor was super low quality for almost an entire season. Bungie did come out and say specifically it was glitched and had to address this. So, wow, hopefully this gets fixed because, yeah, really, uh, at this point, unless the weapons and the exotics are interesting, there's no good armor available because it's all extremely subpar, uh, stats. Uh, Overall, guys, honestly, Lucky Raspberry with a fantastic roll. Wait for it to get buffed, hopefully. That's the best you can do this weekend. Guys, that is it for the video. Hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.